Tanner, I got to speak with the Director of Development for the Epilepsy Foundation, okay. and they're talking about a big walk, Tiffany Schuler, and she is inviting everyone, and it is not too late to get a team. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, take a look. The Texas Epilepsy Walk is right on us, uh, I feel like just weeks away, and we want people to get in and really help raise critical funds for this. And with us today, Director of Development, Tiffany Schuler. How are you, Tiffany? Hi, good, glad to be here today. I'm so glad you're with us. Tell us about uh, the Epilepsy Foundation. The Epilepsy Foundation is there to provide support for those who are um, diagnosed and, and are living with epilepsy. Uh, one of our services that we have is a clinic for adults living with epilepsy. Uh, those who are uninsured or underinsured uh, can enter our free clinic and have neurological care, prescription assistance, and, and EEGs, whatever they may need uh, to help them manage their epilepsy. Um, our, our second thing that we really offer for children is our camping program uh, where we send children ages 9 to 19 to one of our week-long summer camps where they're able to do things that they may not normally get to do on their everyday life like go swimming or go rock climbing and um, it, it's a really fun thing for them to do to be around other kids who have epilepsy. And then we also have education where we do first aid um, seizure recognition training and certification and we teach school nurses and go into businesses and kind of teach people how to um, help those who have epilepsy. A lot of folks never even thought about their loved one uh, having epilepsy. And there's so many things under the epilepsy umbrella that maybe people um, may, not, may not realize. Can you tell me some of those people may be more familiar? Yeah, I think one of the reasons why our seizure first aid and recognition um, class and certification is so important is so that you can see the signs of what epilepsy may look like. It's not always what you see on TV, someone falling to the floor and, and shaking. They can be um, absent seizures where they kind of stare off into space. I mean, there's lots of different kinds of epilepsy um, and that class kind of helps you spot what those are. Well, April 13th is the day we need families, teams, clubs, neighbors, uh, we want people to come out to the walk in Amarillo. Yes, for sure. In order to fund all those awesome services I just talked about, we need to have your support at the Epilepsy Walk. So our Texas Epilepsy Walk is April 13th. It's going to be held at Thompson Memorial Park. We meet at Pavilion Number 17. Okay. And um, we have bounce house and cornhole. And I mean, it's just a good party for the first little bit. We'll have a brief um, introduction where we'll acknowledge you know, our top teams and our, our team captains that raise the most funds and, and just kind of have a big party. And then after that, we walk from that pavilion over to the zoo uh, and entrance into the zoo is actually included in our walk. So you'll get to have a good, good um, Saturday at the zoo as well. Well, we want people to plan now, save the date, April 13th. And tell, tell us how, how, do we need to RSVP? Do we need to turn in money? Do we need to raise money? How exactly will will this work for folks yeah the best way for you to attend is to pre-register um, you can go to texas epilepsy um, from there you'll be able to pick which city you want to participate in so click amarello and you'll be able to create a team join a team um, fundraise sign up from there if you are not able to sign up ahead of time don't panic you can still come the day of and we'll get you set up <laughs> <laughs> um, registration starts at 8 30 that morning so. all righty april 13th and uh, we have all the information for you uh, right here on news channel 10 newschannel10.com and uh, be safe and uh, we'll see you soon okay okay